So there are two big features that every iOS user mentions when they're talking about how iOS is better than Android. iMessage and AirDrop. And while I don't really have a solution for iMessage on Android, I might have found an AirDrop for Android equivalent. Let me show you. But first, special thanks to PureVPN for sponsoring this video. Right now, there's an amazing 12 year anniversary deal going on where you can get 12 monthly accounts for free to give away to your friends and family if you buy any of their plans. Their service installs seamlessly on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, and allows you to browse the web anonymously as well as have all your data encrypted. No more worrying about people spying or gathering data as you surf. Beyond that though, you can also use it to tell sites and services that you're browsing from a different country of your choosing than you are, which removes whatever country-based restrictions they might have, allowing you to access content you couldn't otherwise. If this sounds like something you might be interested in checking out, head to the link in the description below. Not too long ago, Google released an app for Android that was meant to help you organize the files on your phone, help you optimize storage, etc. But it happens to have a feature in it that lets you transfer files between two Android phones, and it is remarkably similar to AirDrop. It seems to me that it even works in a similar way where it uses Bluetooth to find the other device, start the connection between them, but then it actually uses Wi-Fi to transfer the files between the phones much faster than a Bluetooth transfer would be. It isn't without hiccups though, but let me show you how to use it and we can talk about those then. Firstly, head to the Play Store on your Android phone, download and install Files by Google. Once installed, open it and set up the app. And then in here you can use the clean and browse features to free up storage and manage your files respectively, as I mentioned before. But we're interested in the share option at the bottom right. So tap that. And then if you wanna send a file, tap the send button. And if you are the receiving person, obviously tap receive. Now both devices have to do this in order for them to start this connection. And so what'll happen is this will turn on your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth if it isn't already on, and you'll see a pulsating circle with your name indicated in it trying to find the other device. Once it finds the other device, it'll pop up as an option to connect as the sender. Tap it, and the receiving person will have to confirm the connection. Once connected, you can select whatever files you want to share and then hit share. The files will send way faster than Bluetooth, Android Beam, etc. by the way, thanks to that direct Wi-Fi connection. And when it's done transferring, it'll show up in the received folder on the receiving device. You can then tap disconnect on either of the devices to close the connection and then close the app if you're done. Now you can even use this feature from the share options menu. So tap on a photo, for example, tap share, and then you can say share with the files app. But you will still have to create that connection between the two, have the other one confirm it, etc. And this is kind of where it has a bit of a hiccup, right? It's not as intuitive and easy and quick to connect to one another as say AirDrop is. But once connected for the first time, transferring the files is a lot faster than any other current solution on Android. And it works again, very similar to AirDrop. Now, maybe Google will update it and make it better and make it easier to connect and all the other things that kind of isn't that great at. But for now, it does at least seem like it's probably the best option that Android users have for a version of AirDrop. There you guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this video of this kind of AirDrop equivalent. Did anybody know about this? If you didn't, let me know. Always nice to hear from you guys. And uh, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next word subscribe so you can notify when I do new videos. Also, if you click in the link in the description, I actually have a way for you to sign up for my email newsletter. It goes out once a week. Um, it's all the videos that come up here and then also tips and tricks and other things that don't necessarily make it here to YouTube. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.